You don't have to be a doomsday prepper or a zombie apocalypse nut in order to take common sense and reasonable steps to secure your family's water source. We read about severe weather and natural disasters all the time. These happen to everyday folks, and you need to have a backup plan for food, water, and shelter in order to prepare against these events. But whether it's a natural disaster or even a man-made disaster, they all have one thing in common. The electric grid goes down. And the vast majority of well owners, if you lose your electricity, you lose your water. Many people are uncomfortable with this fact. Most of my customers say this has bothered them for a long time. These are the forward-thinking people that have figured out how vulnerable their water source is. Can you get water out of your well when you need it the most? Now wait a second. Time out. What's the big deal? Last time we lost power, we still had well water. So why the big fuss? I turned off the power to this house, and you can see that the water from my well, well, it still works. So why does my electric well pump still work when the power is out? Now that's a good question. Let's show you what's going on. Virtually all houses on a well store water in a pressure tank like this. You can find this tank in a mechanical room, a basement, crawl space, or outside in a pump house or even in an underground vault. Typically 20 to 30 gallons of water remain under pressure and usable for several hours or maybe even a day. Power is often restored before this water runs out. This lulls us into a false sense of security, so it's easy to think there's nothing to worry about. But there is something to worry about. Starting day two, the water in that pressure tank is gone. And now you have no water. You see, there's a huge difference between a nuisance power loss of a few hours and a prolonged loss of power that might last days or even weeks. Now to be clear, you have tons of water in the aquifer that your well taps into. That water is still there, and it's actually more than you could possibly use. The problem is you simply can't get it when you need it the most. So let's recap. Now your clean drinking water is in the ground, and during a disaster one of the first things you need to do is keep that water flowing. Your access to this water is by means of a single well pump, but that pump is electric, and you don't have any electricity because, well, a natural disaster hit. This is why most folks are not set up for a win. Too much dependency on electricity for essential things. When engineers do what's called failure analysis, they focus on single points of failure. One of the things they do to address this is what's called redundancy. Your car has two headlights. Light bulbs fail. If one goes out, you can still see. Your car also has a spare tire, an emergency brake, spare fuses. These are all examples of redundancy or backups. Now since you have no control over the electric grid, pump redundancy is what you have to focus on to achieve water security. This well has both an electric pump for everyday use and this hand-operated pump that requires zero electricity. I can go days, weeks, even years without electricity. There's a ridiculous amount of water down there, literally millions of gallons. But if I don't have the non-electric tools they had a hundred years ago, even though this water is only 30 feet away, I'm not going to see a single drop. And by the way, our pumps are state-of-the-art and designed to work flawlessly in conditions much worse than this. No power? No problem. I got water. I got a lot of water. So let's look at the big picture for a moment. You spent hundreds of thousands of dollars for a house. You shelled out another $10,000 or so for a well. You now have a safe house in the country with its own water source. That's awesome. So spending a few hundred dollars more on a hand-operated well pump to keep that water source secure is not an unreasonable next step. Proactive people take the necessary steps when times are good to achieve water security for the bad times that are sure to come. I do want to emphasize that we live in this tiny bubble of history called America. Everyone is rich, we live long, we're well fed, we're healthy, and we have so much water we flush our toilets with it. This is actually not normal. Now enjoy it while you can, but don't ever make the mistake of assuming that it's guaranteed. A natural disaster can rip us from this bubble, and we can go from complaining about our pizza delivery being late 
to, oh my God, I need food, water, and shelter just to make it through today. That gear shift can often happen in less than 24 hours, and many times without any warning at all. Prior preparation is everything in this game. That well pump is now worth every penny, and not only does it provide an absurd amount of water for your family, but it frees up a lot of time as well, which will also be in short supply. So with buckets of water and tons of time, you can help a lot of people. And last but not least, even if the zombies never do attack, or a natural disaster never hits, you'll be watching the news from time to time, and it will be obvious that we indeed live in uncertain times. But you will have no fear, because you are prepared. Peace of mind is something that you and your family will enjoy starting the day after you install a super reliable, state-of-the-art, hand-operated emergency well pump. I'm Kurt Blomback, founder of Apocalypse Well Pumps. Our mission is to help families achieve water security and that peace of mind that comes with it. Thank you for your time.